All right. Uh, Storyline of Thursday's game, I believe, was two great defensive teams going at it. Had two top ten defenses. And uh, kind of like the baseball analogy, when great pitching meets great hitting, usually great pitching wins out. And that was, that was uh, for the most part, what happened. Uh, TCU, excellent football team. There's no question about it. Uh, their defense is as advertised. Uh, they're fast. They're physical. Uh, excellent scheme. So we knew it would be tough sledding going in the game uh, with our offense. Uh, and that's indeed what it was. I think the best thing our offense did, well, I know the best thing our offense did all night long was not turn the ball over. Uh, we were plus two in the turnover margin. I can just about guarantee if we would have been minus two, we would have not won the football game. And so that was, I felt going in, that would be a huge key. And in the analysis after the game, I think that was the most important stat in the ball game was us being plus two in the turnover margin. Uh, also did some good things offensively in the two-minute situation, of course. I and mean, that was Brian Johnson's, um, you know, I don't know how many times he's done it, several times in his career, uh, taking us in the two-minute situation and led us right down the field <clears throat> for the winning score. And that was, uh, you know, he showed a great deal of poise, confidence, as did the entire offense, not just Brian, but the entire offense. And, and uh, that's something that we have uh, kind of become our trademark, I guess. We've, we've done a nice job of that. Uh, penalties was also a, a positive for us. We were penalized very, very few times, two for 10 yards. Didn't shoot ourselves in the foot or you know any of that type of stuff. So so that was a that was a positive as well. Defensively, uh, we settled down after we gave up a couple drives. They had two nice drives early in the game, uh, both resulting in points. It was ten nothing before we really knew what happened. But then the defense settled down and pitched three quarters of shutout ball, and uh, really really uh, made some nice plays down the stretch. Uh, special teams that was also a big factor in the game. Our ability to convert field goals as opposed to uh, TCU missing a few of them. And so, uh, you know, those were really the, the, uh, the factors in the game. The, the defenses, the way they played, taking care of the football uh, with our offense, not doing dumb things in the penalty department, and uh, outscoring them in the special teams department. That was probably the, the, uh, the three or four biggest factors in the game. Uh, moving on to San Diego State, uh, another conference game, last road game, um, you know, San Diego State has uh, struggled a little bit this year. They've been decimated by injuries. Uh, you know, we know what that was all about last year, but, but uh, they've, they've lost a lot of good uh, players along the way. But, uh, you know, nonetheless, that's, you know, we got to go down there and do our thing and play our game, stay focused. Uh, you know, there's nothing on our mind this week <clears throat> except for San Diego State. And it gives us a chance to go down and win, guarantee at least a share of the conference title. And that is our entire focal point this week is, is uh, getting that done on Saturday. Yeah, we play. We, we, uh, the first snap of the game, we got caught in a man. Well, I shouldn't say caught in a man coverage. We're a man coverage team. But they, we were in man coverage, and they ran a, a, a rub route, I'll call it, a, a route across the middle. That we, they, they do a nice job uh, making it difficult to cover. And we didn't cover it well, and it went out the gate for you know, 30, 40, 50 yards. I can't remember what it was. It was a big one. But uh, Coach Anderson did a nice job of uh, blending in some zone the rest of the way and uh, really eliminating that problematic situation that we were in early. And TCU does as good a job as anybody as atta of attacking man coverage. They, you know, they, uh, they got us on it in uh, 05 uh, when they snapped our 18-game win streak and that two, in the overtime situation, the, the same type of route was the, was the game winner. And so I thought uh, Coach Anderson and the players obviously uh, responded to the to the change in philosophy, and it wasn't a wholesale change, but we just mixed in more zone than we typically do. Well, he's the best one since I've been the head coach. I can tell you that, I've, you know, four years, um, without a doubt. Uh, you know, he's done his record. You know, speaks for itself. His win loss record, which I've said many times, in my opinion, the win loss record of a quarterback is the greatest measure of his uh, value to your football team. But uh, you know, there's been some good quarterbacks come through here. Alex Smith, I mean, is the one that first and foremost obviously comes to mind. But but uh, we still have some football left. But uh, Brian Johnson has done a great job leading this team this year. Brian Johnson's poise and confidence is the starting point. Uh, everyone around him believes believes in what we're doing and believes in him getting it done. Uh, you know, it's just been a, a very good effort, really across the board. The offensive line has done a nice job in that situation. The receivers' routes, uh, very few drops in that situation, and so. Uh, for whatever reason, our team and we work on it. It's not like it just happens. We we work. We spend a lot of time in practice all the way back in spring ball working on the, the two minute drill, and so I think it's just a product of uh, you know our, our guys that we got run of it running it first and foremost, and the time we sink into it, invest into it. Well, there's a lot at stake every week. Every week the stakes get higher. Uh, it doesn't matter who you're playing. 
the stakes, you know, certain games are labeled bigger games because of, you know, team's records and so forth. But as far as the bottom line, the stakes get higher each week because of, you know, what we've been able to do. Uh, and regardless of who we're playing this week, you know, we got to go out and, and get a victory. And, and our guys know that. Plus the, the carrot out there of guaranteeing us a share of the Mountain West Conference title. So there's a lot, you know, a lot of, uh, I don't want to say, Incentives, but but the, the, there's a lot to be focused for, and there's a lot of reason to uh, to not get looking beyond this game. Never ever, never ever, and I've said that before. Never style points, all that stuff that doesn't ever factor into our equation. We just go out to try to win the game. If we have the game in hand, whatever's the most intelligent approach to make sure we are ready for the next game. You know, you don't want to leave guys in there and put them at risk in a game that is already in the bag and possibly lose the, you know, lose the guy for the next game. And so all we're concerned about is playing the best football we can play on a week-to-week -week basis. And whatever strategy as the game winds down is best in the big picture. That's what we'll do for the next game. That, you know, I use the term not falling in love with ourselves, not thinking we've arrived. There's plenty of stuff to work on uh, in, from a TCU game that we can do better on both sides of the ball, special teams. I mean, there's, you're never, ever at the point where you say, okay, we've got it. We're playing just how we want to play. There's nothing to fix. And so we're always focusing on deficiencies and uh, trying to figure out ways to do things better. They do. They're, I, I, this team is uh, emerging as a hard-nosed, blue-collar uh, team that's, that responds well to adversity. And, you know, that's just uh, been their MO ever since fall camp. As far as their work ethic, Monday through Friday, they work hard in practice. And then when they get their backs against the wall in a game situation, to this point in the season, they've handled that very well. Tough question. I mean, that's our first and foremost goal is the Mountain West Conference title, and so that's eluded us the last three years. And so I would say at this point in time right now as I stand here, that's probably the most important thing that uh, we have in our sights and that if we are able to get it done, then, yeah, I would say to that point. Now, you know, you got to keep moving on, but I would say yes. Iowa, say Iowa beating Penn State, Tennessee getting beat by Wyoming, by Wyoming. If you're not ready to play each and every week, someone's going to get you. I mean, that's just how it is. You see it every Saturday. Or most every Saturday, we have uh, some sort of game that uh, you're saying there's no way these guys could or should beat these guys, and they do. And so that uh, right there is a is a wake up call for our guys. Yeah, we'd like to score more points, and uh, you know, like I said, the you know the TCU defense was a huge reason for our lack of production this past week. And I thought New Mexico played very well against us defensively, and and uh, but still we got to we got to move the ball and and uh, get in the end zone. But uh, you know, when you look at the big picture, you judge the season and you judge the offense as a whole. Uh, we're still doing a pretty nice job moving the ball. I think we're second or third in the league in total offense and scoring offense. So we're doing some good things. But uh, like I said just a second ago, you're never where you want to be. You're always trying to get better. And we certainly would like to score more than 13 points a game, which we've that's all we've done the last couple of weeks. You know, that, that's you know, people. Some people believe that you know, you're a reflection of the staff and and so forth and. Uh, I think the uh, one of the primary factors is our leadership. You know, Brian and these seniors, Greg Newman, Bryce McCain, uh, Robert Conley, they have a tough, hard-nosed mentality, you know, as players. And, and uh, I think that's as big a factor, uh, if not the biggest factor, in the, in the personality of the team is the way our, our senior leadership has uh, set the bar. You know, they set the bar, they work hard in practice, and they expect everyone else to live up to that standard that they set.